Another former Bungie employee joins 343 in the development of Halo Infinite. A key organization is denied by 343. We have a chance now to see what ODST would look like in Unreal Engine 5. And we have one of the earliest cutscenes of Halo Infinite was just leaked out. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. It has been officially confirmed by Joseph Staden himself that Paul Bertone has joined 343 in the development of Halo Infinite as a technical design director. If you don't know who Paul Bertone is, understandable, but he helped ship Halo 1 through 3 and ODST and Reach. And not just that, he was one of the key designers of ODST. But here's another former Bungie employee going back to work on Halo, which is awesome to see. As we guys all know, I'm sure we all agree, the classic Halos were pretty amazing. Halo Infinite's amazing as well in its own right, but it definitely hits a little different, where it's great to see some of the classic members of Bungie returning back to work on Halo, which is pretty awesome to see right there. And what Paul Burton will be doing is essentially what he did at Bungie during the Halo days, now with 343. So it's kind of like the good old days back again at it, which is pretty awesome to see. Now, what does this exactly mean for Halo Infinite in the short term? We're not totally sure as, you know, it's just probably just like another position, but I think it just kind of helped root that core Halo feeling back into the Halo franchise, which 343 certainly did with the launch of Halo Infinite. I feel like that's the most Halo feeling campaign we've had since Halo Reach. And of course, once we get some more information about Season 3 and what's happening with Halo Infinite post Season 3, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Now, as we mentioned previously on this channel here, guys, that a lot of organizations have applied to partnership with HCS. A lot of really big name orgs have really jumped in and tried to do this. Then we're starting to get some information now that it looks like some of these teams are being denied, at least for the most part. One of the most notable teams that has been denied was the Pioneers, KCP, Kansas City Pioneers, if you how you want to refer to them. And basically say that we have been denied partnership by HCS. Sorry for all the fans and support and backing us and stuff like that. And this is going to be kind of shutting shockwaves through Twitter on Halo, for Halo Twitter right now that this organization who's like a top 10 team, top 5 team in competitive Halo didn't get part or didn't get partner with HCS, which is kind of incredible. They've done a lot of work and done a lot of dedication to Halo to try to you know boost up the competitive side of things. It didn't exactly work out in their favor. The director right here, Eddie from Pioneers, goes on forward saying it's like so disgusted and hurt. We put so much time and effort into HCS partnership program and still got denied. Just not sure what else we could have done, which it's kind of true. They've really just done about everything they possibly could do to get partnership and they set themselves up right to do so. Chig, who is the coach for E United, one of the partner teams out there, is saying, feel like the only reason why KCP didn't get in is if there's a big clout org trying to jump in and take their spot. Still doesn't make sense. Baffled. And one of the biggest pro players out there, Snakebite, chimed in as well, throwing in their two cents, kind of just saying like, yeah, they should be accepted into this partner program when it comes to the HCS teams. Saying that maybe just like some other cloud teams maybe be coming around and see what kind of the announcements we'll have to have when it comes to who's getting partnered next for the second season of HCS. My assumption is that either they're trying to maybe expand beyond just the United States teams, maybe have like some more EU teams that are partnered, maybe even an Australian team like the Chiefs or something like that getting involved with the partner program, uh, just to kind of help give those players in different international element areas like an avenue to go pro in Halo. Or there could be some larger organizations trying to get involved with Halo as well, which if that's the case, that would be pretty sweet. One of the teams could be 100 Thieves, as Nade Shot here, when Halo Infinite first launched, talked about wanting to have a team involved with Halo, which, I mean, would be pretty awesome to have an organization like 100 Thieves involved with Halo, definitely bring a lot more people, a lot bigger audience into the game. And 100 Thieves even had a run of Halo-themed merch back in December, showcasing like they're probably willing to, you know, make some kind of partnership with Halo in some capacity. Uh, this could maybe even be a trial run to kind of see like what the interest of the 100 Thieves community would be involved with Halo. And I know this stuff sold out super quick. No word yet from HCS which teams did get accepted or if they've whittled down the list even further, but we'll let you guys know as soon as we get some more information. I have an assumption that we'll probably get some news about these new partner teams 
with either the Orlando event happening in September or the season finale of season one with the uh, championship match happening here in Seattle, which I will be at, which is gonna be an awesome event for sure. It's gonna be like a Halo Fest. Perfect for a time for jumping to play some Halo for sure. Uh, my, that's my assumption we'll probably see during the championship finals with the announcement of the next set of partner teams. Next, we have an awesome bit of awesome content by our good buddy Gearshift Media on his own YouTube channel created ODST in Unreal Engine 5. And I don't know if the video comes through super well because this is like, you know, compressed video quality. But let me tell you, this looks absolutely amazing. If you thought ODST created a really good atmosphere uh, back in 2009, well, imagine it in 2022. That's essentially what happened. Actually, Gearshift right here, uh, Caleb, did actually work on Halo Infinite's campaign as well as one of those contractors. So he has direct experience working on Halo. He's a huge fan, as you can obviously tell. And this looks amazing. You can go onto his YouTube page where he has this video for the trailer. You can actually download and walk around in the environment. And it looks absolutely amazing. There's also some like little hidden gems right there you can find out, stuff like that. Like this is just something that's definitely worth checking out. If you haven't seen it, definitely go do so. Now this right here, is a leak and it's quite interesting here. This is an early, early, super early build of Halo Infinite. I think it's more just kind of a concept of like in engine kind of cut scene kind of thing you would see of where your kind of general experience would be with Halo Infinite in some kind of way. This is super early. Like this, apparently this is back in like 2018. This was actually confirmed by one of the developers as well. So this is like our first looks at like the concepts of Halo Infinite, but you can see even back in 2018, they're still using like the Halo 5 Master Chief. Obviously this still looks very rough around the edges when it comes to the visual style and stuff like that. And so this is more just kind of like a concept of like this is what you would experience while playing the game and stuff like that. And nothing's supposed to be like, this isn't gonna be like something that's supposed to be in the game in any kind of capacity. Uh, the interesting thing about this though, is that I don't know if this has any tie in with the story at all, but at the end of this, you see Master Chief holding Cortana. He tries to like capture her inside the little like, you know, Cortana chip. And then he like pounds it into the pedestal and just kind of leaves it there, which is either, you know, a cool dramatic effect for this like proof of concept kind of thing, or something maybe they had definite in mind when it comes to the story of Halo Infinite, but you can still see like has like the one take style, one camera angle style when it comes to this uh, cutscene right here. This and it also has like a big, much more like a natural environment kind of looks to the whole thing as well. So you can definitely see that the feeling of Halo Infinite is definitely captured very well within this. Obviously, not the true assets, but kind of just like a proof of concept and an idea of like this is what we're looking to accomplish when it comes to Halo Infinite. And I think they did a great job of taking basically this and kind of sprucing it all up for the actual game itself. So quite awesome. But if you're new to the channel and miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.